My hardcore Iron Man is about to fight to the death, but there's a few more preparations that can still be made before time runs out. Welcome back. We have about 13 days remaining for this challenge, and I want to make sure that I absolutely get everything I need. I still need to get myself a magic shield as well as a tank shield, so I'm going to be going for a poison brutu shield since it gives pretty decent magic stats. Plus, it also has a passive effect where it can drain my opponent's defense by about like five levels, so it could come in handy. That's the tribal mask we need. That's the snake hide we need now we tan it and then we attach it and that's shield number one of two done there we go another grubby key i have been bursting for a bit since i'm trying to get myself 82 magic and this is most likely at least for me the best way for me to actually go about doing that so far i've gotten myself about 24 grubby keys and the nice thing about grubby keys is that it's going to give me supplies that i need for the final fight including ceridome and brews which are huge there's about a one in 20 chance that i get about a brew and a half and i need to hit this drop table twice so ideally i'll get this done within 40 keys about the engineer and i only agreed to having three brews total which is why i need to hit the drop table twice so first key uh not great but doesn't really matter second key uh, that's okay the nice thing about opening these chests is that you do get a bunch of decent food so i'm gonna get myself a bunch of sharks i got myself some range potions some defense potions prayer potions but I really am looking for that brew drop overall. The rest of these supplies are just going to be nice along the way. Last key. Yeah, that is just not great luck. That was 24 keys, and that took me kind of a decent amount of time to get them. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's another hard clue. I can still technically do this clue, but I need to go and complete Regicide, and I was going to do that anyway for the Crystal Shield, so I guess I'm just going to go get my agility up now. I'm stuck at the tree. I don't want to jump. Your pants are different colors than your shirts. Dude, I'm never going to unsee that now. You have, you have to change that right now. No. That is 50 agility. Now we can move on to Falador. All right, so I have an idea to get into Sea Engineer's head. Currently, I am 53 agility. Sea Engineer is constantly looking up my stats. I know that for a fact. So he's going to see that I have 53 agility once I log out. And you need 56 agility for Regicide. These skeletons by Tarn's Lair drop agility potions, which boost your agility by three levels. So I'm going to get some agility potions and complete Regicide. And when Sea Engineer looks up my stats and sees that I don't actually have 56 agility, agility i want him to think that he has the upper hand right up until the fight that's agility potion number one and that's three full agility potions which should be more than enough for this quest okay i decided to do this with 54 agility but it should still work all the same that is regicide completed there we go that is a casket yeah i'm gonna open this casket but i have an important message first every single person in karen thinks that this guy's ugly and why shouldn't they he's so hideous that the sun won't even come out i mean look at it now if you would just use manscaped like i've been using for the past four years he wouldn't be that ugly recently i've upgraded to the performance package 5.0 which features the lawnmower 5.0 electrical trimmer which comes with dual skin safe blade heads and an upgraded trimmer blade with an interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance this razor is genuinely such a game changer and i seriously don't know how i'd live without it not only does it also come with an led light but it's also waterproof the performance package 5.0 also comes with the weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer which is equipped with skin safe technology and has also been incredible to have in addition it also came with crop crop soother aftershave and crop preserver ball deodorant which both smell incredible and on top of that the performance package comes with two free gifts of their boxers 2.0 and their shed 2.0 i really recommend just about any manscaped product but it is seriously worth checking out their performance package 5.0 ultra and if you head on over to manscaped.com and use code framed you'll get 20 percent off plus free international shipping, and two free gifts. Look, I swear by Manscaped, and I really cannot recommend their products enough. So please do both of us a favor and check out Manscaped today. I don't know what I'm even looking for at this point. Maybe a glory? Uh, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's money. And that is roving elves. That is our tank shield sorted for the fight. Hey, another hard clue. Another casket and we get nothing. 80 magic. Ran out of runes again, so it's time to alc all the drops we got. That's another 868k cash stack. That's another hard clue. Please just give me the casket. Came to the wilderness for this. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. A little H5 for you. I think I accidentally broke the game. 81 magic, man. One more level to go. That feels so good, man. 82 magic. We are finally done, man. Hopefully we're finally done because 
I still need to get my brews, and basically the only way for me to get those is from the grubby chest. So I am hoping that the grubby keys that I got from these guys are going to be enough. 25 more grubby keys. I am begging that we get the brews we need. I think I'm going to do this four keys at a time to go fast. <gasps> yes, there we go. The brew drops we needed. <laughs> yes, one more and we are good, dude. That is so lucky. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that is so beyond. No way. Oh my gosh. We are actually done with our brews, dude. That's all we need. I mean, I'm obviously going to open up like the rest of these grubby keys anyway, and maybe we get more supplies or something, but I've gotten everything that I actually need from this chest, which is amazing. If I end up winning, I am willing to make this account into a high risk hardcore Iron Man, but only if you guys like the video and subscribe. If I end up losing and you still want me to make a high risk hardcore Iron Man, then this video is going to have to get 20 likes. Thanks. Yeah, of course I get the bruise again, dude. Now that I don't need any more, of course they just start pouring in. <laughs> Those temple spiders actually drop weapon poison, by the way, so now I have a DDS. Just finished up alking all the different drops we got. That's 626k in alks alone. Hey, we have over a 1 mil cash stack now. There's roughly about 10 days left at this point to just train, and I think I want to put most of that training into range. Maybe get myself like 90 range, and if I have any time left over, some strength. It's also nice that I can train an ammonite crab since they they're gonna drop unidentified fossils and that gets me a bit of prayer xp well it's been about like a day and i got myself 80 range plus i just ran out of adam and arrows so i think it's time to go get myself some more from lms and it's time for me to use my fossils i've actually gotten a decent amount of fossils saved up at this point the process of getting prayer from these fossils is pretty straightforward you come to the big ass mushroom on the north end of fossil island you add 10 calcium you add 10 phosphate and then you dump all of your different fossils into the pool after you dump all your fossils in you you wait for them to bubble up like here's one over here you go over pop it and you basically just keep popping these bubbles until your progress bar goes all the way down once that's done you come and open up this gate and then you take all your fossils from the rinsing pool then you come to this little house on the hill on fossil island and you use all your enriched bones on this machine 54 prayer i'm actually aiming to get at least 60 so i can have chivalry for the fight and that's actually 55 prayer two prayer levels from one inventory and you should be gone here yeah, I really don't like doing LMS at all, to be honest, but it is so good for adamant arrows and a bunch of different supplies like that, which I'm using adamant arrows to train my range, and it's only about like 20, 30 minutes a day that I'm really having to do this, but I am not a big fan of LMS anymore, man. I have played it way too much. Anyway, I think it's time to go into training hibernation for like the next week, so I guess I'll just see you then. We are now 90 range. I am done training range. It's actually been a week since I've last seen you, by the way, and... I have gotten some good levels. Well, it looks like we almost got another prayer level here, but one off. Well, after no lifing for the past day, basically, I just got myself almost 63 prayer, and we also got ourselves 79 strength. We're pretty close to 80, but I have a bit more to do. I've still got a few quests to do, so that is jungle potion completed. That is Charlotte Village completed. That is a 45 mining requirement that I need to get granite for a quest. That is one small favor completed. If I actually end up winning this fight, I'm gonna regret having put all all of my different XP lamps on prayer. That is 63 prayer though, so maybe it will help. Can't you see he framed me? the hell does that mean and that is the king's ransom completed to unlock chivalry kind of okay for real this time that is the knight's training waves completed which that unlocks chivalry for me it technically unlocks piety as well but this account might not live long enough to see that anyway chivalry is a nice prayer to have it increases our defense up to 20 percent and our strength up to 18 percent i actually have a few more hours in the day at this point to do a few more barrows runs so that is what we're gonna do and in search of myrek helps me complete those a bit faster this very well could be the last time that I ever switch this spellbook on this account. This is the last ditch attempt at getting better plate legs before the fight, man. Hopefully we get lucky. Oh, dude. Like, normally that'd be a really nice drop, but I already have one. <laughs> This is not the time to be giving me duplicates. Well, we have run out of time of the day, so this is unfortunately my last chest with no luck. I still have time tomorrow, like a little bit of time to get myself maybe an attack level or two and finish off getting 80 strength. Good morning. It is a pretty big day today, not just because I got 80 strength, but because we have to fight in a few hours, and I think I have time to get myself one more attack level. I ended up getting crashed, and I couldn't find another open spot, so I had to come to all reliable here, but that is 71 attack, 97 combat. It is time 
We have to gear up. We're fighting Sea Engineer. After 400 hours of playing this account, these are what the final stats are looking like. May as well wear this hardcore Iron Man gear one last time. I mean, this could be the last time I ever wear it in this account. This is what the final gear is looking like. We both agreed that we are allowed to have pre-pot, so you can ignore that, but this is what my inventory is going to be set up like. I don't think it's worth bringing a Dragon Scimitar since it's not really going to hit all that often on tanks, so I brought a DDS and I brought a Torag's plate body. That's just in case I run into any emergencies and I need to throw tank on. Oh, look at that tank gear. By the way, make sure that you go and watch Sea Engineer's perspective to see how he got this final gear for the fight. This is it. It's either you or me. All right, whenever, Ronan. Three, two, one, go. Look, I'm just saying, I'm putting 400 hours of my life here on the line. Consider subscribing if I win this thing, please. Oh god, a muscle memory, dude. DDS. I'm gonna have to start faking it. Oh, come on. Thank you. DDS damage I get is just extra at this point. Oh my god, he could have gotten me decently on that. I'm kind of getting into the flow here. Okay, that was a big hit though. I am looking low on food, dude. Come on, just catch. Him out. Oh, 
That is a big catch. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh my on. gosh. He even got the Aram staff and everything. Oh, I forgot to log in to take that loot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Good <laughs> fight, brother. Good fight. Oh my god. I was so nervous in that fight, dude. Good. Well played, Tom. Good fight, brother. Well, Good fight. Nice. I PK'd five mil off of you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Come get your Iron Man stuff back, dude. I'm never logging into this account again. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, the hardcore Iron Man has survived, and it looks like the winning POV truly was the winning POV. So now that we have a hardcore Iron Man that is alive, and we have a large bounty that I can place on him, do we turn this account into a high-risk hardcore Iron Man?